Hi, welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. My name is Amir. This is part 24, overview of exception handling or error handling in Blue Prism. In this session, we will learn how to handle exceptions during the execution of process or an object. Exception handling is a critical part of any Blue Prism solution. Focusing only on the happy path is not sufficient. Unhappy path must also be considered. An exception is a problem that arises during the execution of a process or an object. When errors are encountered in Blue Prism, Blue Prism generates an exception. These exceptions interrupt the process flow if let unhandled. Rather than failing in the event of an exception, processes and business objects can be designed to handle the exceptions and let the process continue running. Most exception handling should be done at process or component level. Business objects can contain exception handling, but in general, they should be kept as simple, reusable piece of logic. Now we will see what are the types of exceptions we are having in Blue Prism. One is system exceptions, another one is business exceptions. System exceptions happen in purely technical situations. These exceptions are typically handled by canceling the current case, flagging it with exception details, and moving on to the next one in the scheduled queue. System exceptions can also be monitored to determine if it is safe to run the process. Now we'll see what is business exceptions. Business exceptions can be used to represent the rules of a process that are being automated along with providing a level of control over your deployed process. Process that encounter business exceptions are typically rerouted for an alternative processing by employees. This method allows a business to process high volume work while maintaining operational accuracy. This exception handling is done with a set of stages we have not used before. This can be achieved by using resume, recovery, and exception stages. Recovery and resume stages are used to attempt to solve it and move on for an exception. Now we will see the stages that we are going to be handling in exception handling. First of all, we see recovery stage. Recovery stage begins with a block for in handling exceptions, whereas resume ends a block for handling the exceptions. Whenever we are going to drag and drop this recovery resume, we'll drag both the stages at a time onto canvas. Now we'll see the exception. Exception stage is used explicitly raises an exception in the execution of process or an object. In the later part of the sessions that we will see how to use recovery and resume stages to handle the exceptions in real time scenario. If you have any queries related to the topic, please post them in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.